We will move to this. Two Salisaw police officers are being credited for potentially saving lives by crashing head on into a car that was fleeing from police. Deputies say it was approaching a busy community festival that was packed with people. We have 4029's Brett Rains who talked to those officers. He's joining us live now with what they had to say and what the video shows. Well, downtown Salisaw was full of people Saturday afternoon for the annual Diamond Days Festival. Now there were bounce around set up for the kids here on Oak Street and just a block away from here. That's where police crashed into a person who was fleeing authorities a little more than 130 yards away. Charles, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ram him if he makes it this far. We knew that we were gonna be the last line of defense. They teach you to be a good partner and that's all I was trying to do. And we made the decision at that moment that it was too close to our crowd and our community. Uh, I'm gonna shut it down. That Salisaw police body camera footage from inside their police SUV. The surveillance camera from outside the sheriff's department shows Captain John Weber and Officer Wesley McGirt heading towards the car that's not stopping. When slowed down, you can see kids running to get out of the way. The Almighty was looking out for us all here in our city and, um, and also my officers. Just a block away from the crash, hundreds of people were at the annual Diamond Days Festival. You know, I don't even want to think about what uh, you know, what could have happened. Uh, we had bounce arounds for the kids set up on Oak Street that day, um, you know, and that, that part had just opened up and the kids were just falling in. And if it hadn't been for uh, Captain Weber and Officer McGird making the decision that they did to uh, intercept it, uh, we would be here talking about casualties, lots of them. Never done anything like that before. Um, I just knew that the action that we took had to be swift and we had to make that decision immediately. Captain Weber fractured his wrist. Officer McGirt was bruised up. Both are back at work. It all started Saturday afternoon when a Sequoia County deputy stopped a car for following too close to a truck on the interstate. And then the driver took off. The sheriff says the driver of the car, Carlton Rucker, drove into oncoming traffic on Interstate 40, at times reaching speeds more than 100 miles per hour. And when the pursuit entered Salisaw, the danger increased. Uh, as they got into the city limits, uh, my undersheriff actually was, was helping with the pursuit. He was uh, calling everybody to, to back off because uh, it was getting to be in a dangerous situation, but the guy didn't slow down at all, even after our, everybody backed off. The driver and passenger were arrested and are facing numerous charges, including fleeing, assaulting a police officer, and having stolen property. A third passenger inside the car was flown to a Tulsa hospital. Police say the men are from Florida and had no idea they were speeding towards a festival full of people. I live in this area and I want to be able to, to help our community, and I think that that's what we did and we protected them. It's what we all swear an oath to do, to serve and protect. And, you know, if, uh, we definitely, definitely felt the hands of God with us that day. The driver and passenger who were arrested, they're doing court Wednesday afternoon for initial court appearance and arraignment. The sheriff says the other passenger will face similar charges once he's out of the hospital. Live in Salisaw, Brett Rains, 4029 News.